and some of the tests are coming back and so I wanted to share them with you and so there's good news in fact great news but coach Greg and today an update on Turk Builder as you know we've been doing extensive research going through all the trials and tribulations trying to figure out exactly what's going on and I said I would be totally 100% transparent and so I'm here to be a hundred percent transparent. And so we took our product, sent samples out to various universities and experts in the field of turkesterone and ectosteroids. And some of the tests are coming back. And so I wanted to share them with you. And so there's good news. In fact, great news, but there's also some bad news. And so the good news is we've greatly exceeded label claims, at least from the first tests that have come through. And so it says on the label, a Juga Turkestinica extract 10%. And so what we found is over 20%. That's right. More than double what the label claims. And so in case you're wondering, 10% of 500 is equal to 50 milligrams. And so what we found out is there was far more than 50 milligrams of the active ingredient than what we expected. However, we did discover some bad news. The bad news is that with further testing going above and beyond what FDA standards are, using advanced testing methods such as mass spectrometry, something that's not required in the fitness industry for these products, that what's actually in the product isn't in fact turkesterone, at least not in large quantities, only in trace amounts. And you're thinking, well, how is that not horrible news? Well, turns out that it was not turkesterone that was working all along. The reason Turk Builder was working in the first place was not in fact due to turkesterone, but the fact that it had 20 HE and other ectosteroids. And so what did the research say? Well, I just want to be totally transparent, tell you exactly what is in Turk Builder, what is going on, what is in it. And so here is what's in it. And so as you know, we took random samples of bottles and they opened it up, took three separate capsules to ensure quality standards. And in each capsule, there were various amounts of each product. And remember, to have 10%, it would need to have at least 50 in total. And so what did it have? Capsule number one, total ectosteroid content, 133. Capsule two, 123.2 capsule 3 117.8 and of note the most important ingredient of all the one that actually has human studies on it that's right turkesterone not human studies turkesterone has not been something that's been researched by human trials we don't know that turkesterone actually worked remember those old videos i used to make does turkesterone work? Does it build muscle? Nobody knows. We did not know at the time. How could we? It wasn't tried and tested on humans. And so a lot of you are going to say, we hate you, Coach Greg. You're such a G-shred. You're such a horrible human being for selling turkesterone. I had hundreds of people write me in the DMs. Coach Greg, can you please sell turkesterone? We've heard this is amazing. It works. Other companies are selling. Can you please sell it? Can you get it at an affordable price, please? Please sell it. Same way people said, hey, can you make a cookbook? Could you put your recipes in the cookbook? And so I said, why wouldn't I? Sell protein powder, creatine, beta alanine, pre-workouts, all kinds of stuff. People want us to sell it. And so we have a supply and demand thing. You demand it, we supply it. Why would I not sell something that the public wants me to sell? I have a supplement company and you want me to sell a supplement. Am I supposed to say, no, I refuse to sell it, but Coach Greg, we want it at an affordable price. Sorry, nope, I'm not gonna sell it. Why would I do that? Wanted to give you a product. Didn't know if it worked. How would I know? I had not tried it. Later on, I actually tried it and it worked. Did not expect it to work for me. I'm on HRT. Did not expect that once I added in Turk Builder that I would feel significantly different, that I would get stronger, that I would feel better, but I did. And I did not lie, not once, not for one second. And you can doubt me all you like, but I'm 100% transparent telling you the truth. Oh, you didn't gain all that muscle. Hey, gain more. Yeah. Don't need to make more money. Oh, but you have Lambo payments to make. Do you know how many freaking cookbooks I've sold? Cookbooks made me more money than supplements ever did. Listen, I made my living selling cookbooks and I could in fact retire, but I don't feel like it because I enjoy doing what I'm doing. I like helping people. I like selling supplements. It's 
fun. And the people that buy them, they buy them because they trust me not to lie. And did I lie? Not for one second. And will I lie in the future? Of course I will never lie. Other companies sell intercestrone? I can't comment for them. But personally, what do I personally actually think deep down on the inside? I think that all terchesterone out there, it's not actually terchesterone. I think it's 20-HG. I think that's what's really working. I've been spending weeks talking to various researchers around the world, the top researchers of terchesterone. You think I'm just sitting back on vacation, going to the dance, the wedding? I spend almost every hour of that day worried about what was I doing? What am I going to tell the people? Am I actually selling the proper product? did all the research and I didn't just start now back in February contacted Dalhousie University wanted them to do further research on Turk Builder to prove and show to the world it's the best product out there I don't just want to stand around I would say oh I just sit back I do nothing you have no idea what I do am I a chemist a genius researcher no but I contacted Dalhousie University to do independent study they got a grant takes time to get the money to do the research and they're doing the research and the results are coming out very soon sorry it took a long time but why would i doubt the manufacturer with the third party testing saying we're doing everything we're supposed to do this is what's in it if you believe the other youtubers have turkestrone and you want to buy from them absolutely go freaking buy from them i'm not discouraging anyone to buy turkestrone from other people what i am saying is i do not believe that my product turk builder has turkestrone above trace quantities but I don't believe that that means it didn't work. That it was just placebo all along. I do not believe that for one second. The research, the human trials actually are on 20 HE and ecti steroid. And so if you've purchased Turk Builder in the past, we're going to continue to sell it because I do believe it actually works. If you want Turkesterone, do not buy Turk Builder. If you want to get the gains that I do believe that Turk Builder can give, then buy Turk Builder. If you're unsure this is too much for you, don't buy anything. Not twisting your arm, not forcing you to make these choices. I'm offering it to you because you want it. If you want to buy it, keep buying it. If you don't, you don't have to. You want to get Turkestrone? You can believe all the other YouTubers out there, but please, do your own due diligence ask them have they used mass spectrometry have they gone above and beyond have they tested the current batches that they are in fact selling or are they perhaps only relying on fda standards the ones that make it look like it's actually turkesterone and so i know this is far above your heads and i am not a chemist but listen this is what's really happening in the entire industry they're using FDA standards to test these products. So when you do this test and you're trying to test for turkestrone, they all look alike. And so when they say, is it turkestrone? They say, yeah, because it looks like turkestrone. And could it in fact not be turkestrone? Absolutely, because the other ectosteroids, they also look like turkestrone. So consider the chemists that are doing these third party testing, even they couldn't distinguish between it. And so do you really think Coach Greg is at fault? Oh, you said it was turkestrone. I thought it was. They told me it was. Third party testing said yes, it's turkestrone. Only upon further review using above and beyond testing methods that the FDA, perhaps they don't even know about. I don't know. I'm not the freaking FDA. That we then found out exactly what is in the product. And the good news is it's far greater than what we thought. However, it's not turkestrone. It's what we do believe was what was working all along. And so, did we actually know it was turkestrone that was always working? Why would we have thought that? Did we, did we know? Did we know for sure were there human trials? No. And so, of course, it was all a risk. And yes, I did market it heavily. I said, turkestrone's amazing. Turkestrone this, turkestrone that. So many people hate me for it. Why? Because they don't like that I'm pushing a product. And so I'm sorry to say I've made countless videos saying that turkestrone is great, that it's effective, but I did not know that all along it was 20 HE. And so we are going to be taking down all the videos that say turkestrone, the titles that answer your questions about turkestrone, turkestrone this, turkestrone that, because I no longer believe that turkestrone is what's been fueling your progress all along with Turk Builder. And so what did one of the leading experts on turkestrone in the world say? Well, gonna read his statements. 
We made once 50% terkestrone extract and marketed it among bodybuilders here. The results were poor. Terkestrone alone without partner ectosteroids practically is useless. People immediately started asking the previous more brown powder because 50% terkestrone was almost white color, totally purified and decolored. And so what he's saying is that they spent a lot of time trying to get the perfect terkestrone and the results were bad. That the other compounds, the ectosteroids, were what was in fact causing all these gains. And so I'm really happy to see that what's actually supposed to be in the product, which is at 10%, we've far greatly exceeded that. And remember that guy that tested my product? Well, he said that there was 0.8 milligrams of terkestrone in my product and 50 milligrams of 20-HE. Well, this researcher says, wasn't that? Trace terkestrone, yup. But the milligrams of 20-HE on average was 71. And so I do believe the majority of the hate was poked at a few YouTubers on the internet. I see that as being totally unfair. There are probably a hundred companies selling terkestrone Never saw them all bashed, hated on, many of which are still selling Turkestrone to this day, not even having acknowledged the fact that possibly, maybe, their Turkestrone quantities are in fact wrong. And so I challenge all companies selling Turkestrone out there. Prove it. Prove that you're selling Turkestrone. Show people with mass spectrometer testing that what's actually on the label is in fact what's on the label. Not saying it's impossible. I don't know. How would I know? But do we not owe it to the consumers to find out? The FDA, I do believe, is leaving us wanting more. They have not instituted the correct standards that need to be provided. As it stands right now, every single company out there, it's not their fault. Not their fault. How would we know? We go above and beyond. We do all the testing we're supposed to do. I ask, hey, how would I know it's actually 10%? Uh, what if it's 1%? I don't want to be duped. I'm spending hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars on these products. I want to know it's my money. Imagine how much I've spent. And so they come back. Don't worry. Third-party testing, they are going to test using FDA standards, the top testing. They're going to give you exactly what you need to know. And so, of course, I trust those methods. I don't know about some mass spectrometer test that's better than that test that they can distinguish. I don't know there's multiple terkesterones that empty steroids and terkesterones that look alike on a certain test and you can't tell the difference. How would I know this? From what I heard, it's all terkesterone on the market. How would I know? And is it my manufacturer's fault? Well, I asked them, is this your fault? How come this is happening? We've done all the testing that we're supposed to do. We've done all that's asked. It's exactly what you want. And so when the tests come back and it says, hey, it's higher than 10%, clearly, look, it's more than we promised. 10% all we needed, it's over 20%, at least from what we're seeing so far. And if we get further tests from other third-party labs and it says it's different, we're gonna show them. And so from the manufacturer's point of view, they've done everything they're supposed to. They've gone above and beyond. They've done the third-party tests. And so, for example, we ran out of terkestrone, well, out of stock, get a call saying, hey, it's all ready, it's all bottle labeled, ready to go. And I'm like, that's great, let's start selling. No, we can't because we have to do third-party testing. We need to take some of those bottles and test it to ensure quality standards. And so they're not just rushing things out, throwing it out the door, ignoring tests. They're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. And so it's nobody's fault. How do we know? And so it's only 2022. There are great methods out there, but as the years go by, there are even greater methods. For example, think of drug testing in the Olympics. Certain years, people have used PDs, gotten away with it. 10 years later, they retest the urine and they find out, wow, that person actually cheated 10 years ago. And how do they know? Because there's better tests that are developed. And so as better tests develop, better than the ones right now, we discover that it's not actually terkestrone, that there's multiple terkestrones, that there's ectosteroids and terkestrones that look alike and that this test, when you really think about it, it's not good enough. So we did not know that. We did our best. I said it's going to be open, honest, and transparent. There is more of the 20 HE than we anticipated. And in comparison to that guy who tested our products and said there was only 15 milligrams, way more, 71. And so you can continue to hate me if you want. You can call me G-Shred. It's great. I like the name. Perhaps I'm G-Shred. G-Shred it is. 
I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm not lying. I'm not being dishonest. I'm telling you exactly what's in the product. I'm telling you, it worked for me. I'm not lying. I'm not making this shit up. It is what it is. Hopefully this explains everything. You understand what's going on. We're going to continue to be 100% transparent, tell you what's going on. If a different test comes back and it says something, we're going to tell you, not about being dishonest. And of course, as always, I discourage the use of this amongst teenagers. All supplements, I do not believe you should be taking any supplement. PDs, even over the counter as a teenager, plenty of years later can you get those gains. And so I discourage those use. If you're an adult and you've hit a plateau, and you have the extra money, you want to get Turk Builder, please continue to purchase. I will continue to use it myself. Love this product. Many people, testimonials, tens of thousands of people buying this product, reusing it, loving it, ordering more. If you don't want to buy it, I totally understand, totally get it. It's up to you. Ending it here. GregDuset.com for coaching. GregDuset IP Pro. Harder than the last time supplements. You get those by clicking the link in the description. Also, if you want the free training program. That's right. Free. You don't have to buy this stuff. It's free. Click the link in the description. Become a newsletter subscriber. Also, the hard copy versions of the cookbooks and the training books are out. That's right. The hard copy version. If you previously purchased the PDF version of the books, you've been given a special discount code. It's a significantly cheaper for you. After all, you've already bought the PDF. We're not going to charge full price to get the hard copy version. Excellent quality. This book looks amazing. Perfect. Easy to use. Leave it in your kitchen. And until next time, I am out.